Shalom, party people, and welcome to the 12th C. It is November 22nd, 2022, day 52 of 75 hard. Whole deck of playing cards. Uh, all right, so uh, photo gallon, 199.6 pounds. Um, I ran one mile in seven minutes and 18 seconds. Um, which I'm okay with. I, you know, I set a timer instead of doing a stopwatch. I set a timer saying I'm going to run this in under seven and a half minutes. And so far, I think that was pretty good. I'm definitely going to try that again tomorrow. I'm going to set it for seven minutes and 15 seconds and see if I can beat that without much issue. Um, I also did, um, 100 bicep curls, um, 50 for each arm. And I did them in sets of 10. Um, with a 35-pound um, kettlebell. Yeah, that's what it is. I do those swings with those kettlebells, but I can't think about its name for whatever reason. Also did a few stair sets, but not as many as I intended to do today. Um, walking, stretching, that kind of stuff. Um, I did um, Luke 7 through 16. No, that was yesterday. I did um, Luke 16 through... Uh, John 2, yeah, Luke yeah, Luke 17 through John 2 today. Um, continued reading in uh, Jocko Willink's book, Extreme Ownership. Um, getting really close to the end on this one, and just discipline equals freedom. Um, and that's that's part of conditioning, is, is the discipline in educating ourselves how to be better, do better, not repeating past mistakes learning from those past mistakes so that way we don't repeat them. Um, it's being able to take notes, to plan decisively, um, to make sure that we don't become decisively engaged, that we don't become overwhelmed. It's making sure that um, we are squared away and ready to um, get tough when the tough gets going. So that's the, that is the purpose behind conditioning, is to be prepared, to be ready, to be disciplined. And that discipline is not just uh, finding motivation to go do something. It's actually doing things even when we don't have the motivation to do it. Um, it's learning how to be the, the kind of person that is harder than the problem. Um, not more stubborn than the problem, but is, hey, I, I can do this because I have, I have fallen to my level of training. And that's the kind of person that I want to be. Um, not there yet. Won't be there anytime soon, but definitely going to be working on it every step of the way as best as possible. And it's going to be him who gets me there because I can't do this on my own, but I've got my faith and trust in him. So that's what matters. Um, as far as food goes, um, peanut butter, banana, oatmeal, and an apple for breakfast. I had um, uh, leftover spaghetti, a croissant, um, and... Uh, carrots and hummus for lunch. And then for dinner, I had, um, some chicken, chicken noodle soup or whatever. Um, and it was really good. Uh, some rolls and some green beans that a brother and sister made for us for dinner. That was fantastic. Um, it's, I, I honestly, that is other, other than, um, you know, the obvious of being able to hold your new baby. Um, the, the joys of, uh, People who love you um, when uh, when life gets hard is people who bring you food, um, and I you know life gets hard when you got a new baby, and we've had so many people who have loved on us and brought us food, and that's just wonderful. Um, and it's it's not all the time, but we had some people do it back to back for us, and <laughs> that was great. And I, I want to say thank you so much to them who have been loving on us. Um, but yeah, all in all. Discipline equals freedom. Uh, it's something that I, I don't want to forget. It's something that I want to wake up in the morning and continue to condition myself to be better. Um, and, you know, life gets hard. Suck it up. Go do your hard things.